Greetings to one and all. This is Wendell J. Today, I and I will be discussing the fundamental all right. Shalom. Of white supremacy versus black supremacy. Okay, let's pause it. Let's pause it. Let's pause it right here. This is uh, Wendem Wendem J, brother J. We just had came across this particular video, um, actually, because some of the pictures that we were researching for a a new uh, fellowship um, um, interactive kind of media. Um, platform that we was developing. So we were looking for some, uh, certain certain pictures to go along with certain speeches of His Imperial Majesty. And we came across this particular vid right here. I think it was recently posted up, um, but we wanted to actually favor it and share it with you. But on our other drive, we're not able to get a good connect right now. I only had 13 views, but three three likes. In fact, when we sign in, um, elsewhere, we're going to also um, like it as well. It's from Wendem, Wendem J. Great video right here, Wendem J. We saw about probably 75% of it, and we said we have to just hail it up and do this. Um, this is not even a review, you know. We already agree with, you know, the fundamental basis, Rastafari, and the fundamental basis, truth in the God of truth, Rastafari. So, um, ones and ones, check this particular page, um, this vid right here out, the fundamental difference between black and white supremacy. Behold, Isaiah 62 and 2. Check it out. I don't know what else the brethren have at his particular website, but this is still I and I, brethren. Until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. I want you to find out what that means, find out where that's at. Actually, that's in Romans. I'll give you a, a kind of heads up right there. A little bit more of this particular video, but here's how actually we had found it. Let me just show you. This is kind of curious right here. Let's go back a page. And we saw this right here, right? Sheeple. Right? And I've been meaning to do a video I would like to do. You know, I've been, I've been meditating to do a video about all people not sheep, or some of them are downright goats, you know, are goats. You have to recognize. And this goes beyond just the black and so-called white paradigm. This is why ones like Obama and other kind of things are, were able to get beneath the radar, because ones are still looking at appearance or judging at appearance and not judging at righteousness. So it actually was this right here. Let's see. It was this click, right? Clicking on this image. I think it's this image. No, let's go forward. Let's go forward. The, the top image right here. When we clicked on it, it actually went here. No, it's not. Let's go. Let's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you went back too far. Okay, I went back too far. Okay, show, show, show the people exactly where, where we had clicked. Okay, it was this image right here, as you can see, right here, and then it. And then as we would click on it, it would keep um, going back and forth. You can see that. Do it one more time. Do, do it one more time just to see that. And it was like, what's up? So we thought it was actually, okay, good. We thought it was actually someone trying to, you know, um, slander I and I, slander our father. But so we clicked on it, right? Actually, I think we had went to visit, visit page right there. And this video came up from Wyndham. Salam and greetings to one and all. This is Wyndham J. Today I and I will be discussing the fundamental differences of white supremacy versus black supremacy. Now when many individuals hear of the idea of black supremacy, they get thrown off. And they automatically equate it to the likening of white supremacy. However, this is not the case when I and I examine this. White supremacist groups that are more overt and less discreet, you know, keeping it on the down low, use the scriptures to justify an attempt to place a paradigm of non-ethnicity, which leads to a paradigm paralysis in the consciousness of original biblical teachings, truth. So now because the world has accepted the false image of Christ, because ones cannot challenge the churchical status quo of falsehood and deception, 
they continue to be trapped in the very grips of this global dragon uh, that manifests itself in every aspect of mass media along with the educational system. Um, then we're gonna pause it. We're gonna pause it right here, not to give away all of the video, but definitely um, um, hail up to the brothers and sisters in uh, Florida. Hail them up. Hail up to uh, Wyndham Jake right here on this particular vid. And I'm just—it's it's been up there since actually since I think uh, um, April April 17th, uh, 2013, right here. April 17th, 2013, it's on the Kingdom of Jah, 1892, down here. And we really need to support the brethren and the sisterin out there. And even if you do a vid, and probably a really good vid, and ones don't get to check it, don't, you know, immediately don't get discouraged, my brothers and sisters. So Shalom Rastafari, this is Wendem Yadam of the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty and continue with the, with the preaching and proclamation of truth. Shalom. Ras Tefari.